sharing your what's up. I'm not 100% sure what I was planning with these videos, but now that you guys are obsessed, I certainly feel the pressure. Like the heat is on. I have to deliver. If you're watching me now and you're like, she's gonna do something crazy, she's gonna use props, there's gonna be electrical equipment involved, but sometimes you're just gonna get me out the whole hullabaloo. And that's gonna be good too. By the way, it's really adorable to see how many of you are so entertained by me. Like, why are people loving these videos? And then I realized I was a music teacher for toddlers and they loved me and you guys love me. See where I'm going with this? I'm good at entertaining, you guys are good at being entertained, and you're gonna buy CDs. Who just said what CD? Do you not know who I am? My job is to sell my CD. Like I have a CD to sell. And by CD, I mean digital download. iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby. It's really easy to do. Let's put it this way. There was an app that you could download to your phone and it would give you like 10 tips. If you just listen to them, you would become thinner. Would you figure out a way to download that? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but back to Israel, because that's really what this is all about. It's a real life, like we're living here in Israel, and we're in this new country, and everything is new, and everything is different. But in a way, like, it feels so comfortable. If you're making Aliyah, bring the best dining room chairs you could find. Israelis like when things look nice, but like, they're not so realistic. My mother-in-law's dining room chairs, they're so elegant, but like, if a kid leans on it, they flip backwards, which is like a mother's worst nightmare. I don't know how I knew this. I'm bringing the best chairs I could find. I don't let kids touch it. Like, all the kids in the neighborhood already know. Don't touch the chairs at the Harrell's house. Like you could jump on the couch, you could play on the Merpesa, you can ask their mom for food, you're probably not gonna get any, but don't touch the chairs. So you can imagine my horror when my son drool over one of my chairs. I've literally become my grandmother. He's speaking Hebrew now. Deshali, die. Deshali means it's mine, and die means leave me alone. And now he's an Israeli. And this is a kid who takes 40 minutes to get the gun because he decides he wants to kick his car all the way to gun. Boys are a full-time job. And I'm up early with the kids. My kids get up, they open up the tree sand, they go on the repressive, they're riding their bimbas, everybody wants food, it's, it's chaos. And my mind is racing because I'm a morning person. Yes, I'm a morning person. It's night now, I'm doing you a favor because I love you guys, buy my CD. And in Israel, things are happening the whole time. Shout out to a busy school week, and then today was Rosh Chodesh. How cute is this? Every Rosh Chodesh, all the kids in Israel wear a white shirt. And then you see the kids in the street walking with white shirts, and like, you know, it's Rosh Chodesh. Of course, I don't have white shirts prepared because like, I made a mental note a month ago that next Rosh Chodesh, I should make sure the shirts are prepared, but I forgot that mental note because I'm making other mental notes. <laughs> Everyone hang in there, there's gonna be props. My kids went on a trip today. We had such a great time. People are just happy to live here. The dogs, the cats, the pigeons. There are pigeons everywhere. And like there are pigeons cooing next to my porch. And on the one hand, like, ew, cause I'm from New York. But on the other hand, there are Israel's pigeons. Like, just like the cats, the pigeons here are crazy. There's certain things I just avoid, like shopping and cooking. Not my jam, as the young people say. I have to shop again. I have never once in my life bought pastry dough. That's how not interested I am. And my kids are fine. They love it. I make sure that they eat what they like. The only one who's starving is my husband. This is one of the reasons we moved to Israel. Number one, never cook again in red. Number two, promote my album. Number three, no more carpool. When we moved from New York to Florida, I was so excited. Carpool, I'm fine, and the windows are gonna be open, and I'm gonna listen to my audiobooks on the way back. It's nothing like that. You're driving a vehicle at 70 miles an hour, and your children are behind you acting like animals. You just need to get home and get your kids out of the car, and then you have to do it every single day. In Israel, there's no carpool. This one my eight-year-old drew. I hate walking to school. We're gonna skip reason number four. And reason number five, right there. Never cook again, because my mother-in-law lives here, and now I could just tell my, forget about tell my husband, I could just hint to my husband, like, you should go visit your mother, and eat dinner, and maybe breakfast. If that was the plan, and it's being executed. If you think this is entertaining, listen to my CD, like, I designed it to be entertaining. You will be entertained. Sometimes I think I'm one long infomercial. Are you having trouble being human? Then buy my CD. Everybody gets free hugs, you just have to pay shipping and handling. Why do they need so much gvina levana? It's not yogurt, it's not cream cheese. It's just like random cheese. And there's so much of it. In general, the dairy aisle here is overwhelming. I started buying these really cute Mickey Mouse yogurts. Hang on, I'm actually gonna go get you one. Basically yogurt in a cute bottle. You know, my son who never touches yogurt is now chugging five of these a day. Dairy in Israel is exciting. We're not lactose intolerant, so we're enjoying. 
And now it's time for some props. Will people share my video? Very doubtful. Will people who like my video buy my CD? Better not tell you now. Ain't that the truth? Will my kids eat pizza or schnitzel for dinner? It is decidedly so. <laughs> Everyone's obsessed with this dictionary. I got this dictionary for a dollar. The winter's starting, by the way. I tell my kids every day, rain in Israel is a blessing. We pray for it. And that's why I bought them this cute umbrella, so they should be excited when it rains. You guys have regards from the Vonderplatz. They know you exist. This picture is making me feel bad. Like, maybe I should drive them to school. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for liking this video, for sharing this video. Share this video. One woman commented that if I don't stop being funny, she's gonna come here and slap me. So now I'm a little confused. Should I stop making videos? Should I lock my door? This is the reason I film on day, by the way, because it's night now and one of my kids are up walking the hallways and closing the door and ruining this video clip, which I might use anyway. Go to sleep. I recorded that clip in time lapse. So basically that's my favorite mug. No clips for the writer today, because this was all off the cuff. Quality entertainment, people. Hashem loves you.